Hey guys, it's Brad Eats Peeps. I'm here with my very first True Blood Only vlog. Um, I decided to start doing these after every episode of the five we have left, and I thought I would do an up until this point so you can get where I am so you'll be prepared for my vlogs when they come on Sundays. Um, I do everything else in the True Blood fandom except for craft alongs because I'm crap at crafts. I can loom knit, but I don't know how you'd make like an Eric scarf, Viking scarves, or I, I don't know. And I refuse to be one of those lame saddos who makes Bill Compton snow globes and Sookie Stackhouse soap. No, I don't think so. How did I get talking about snow globes and soap? And what would Sookie soap, Sookie soap, Sookie soap smell like? Probably sun in and corn dogs. Anyway, so we got five episodes left, and that means we're going to turn the crazy on big time. Though, honestly, I don't know how much crazier it can get. The show has really gone off the rails with its insanity. Um, this season, I can't say that I've liked as much as I liked the first season, but rarely do we get sophomore seasons of shows that are as good as their first season. So that's not really unexpected. There have been a lot of things I don't like about this season, so I'll talk about those first. Um, I don't like the way that they continue to add and emphasize secondary characters, giving them more screen time than the main actors and characters on the show. Um, Tara and Sam are a good example of that. Tara's not as big a factor in the books as she is on the show. She's not even black in the books. Um, I should probably stop right there and warn you there will be book spoilers in these vlogs because I read all, I've read all the books and I'm very loyal to them. In any case, um, They've really emphasized big characters. No, they've emphasized small characters in a big way. Um, Lafayette is a good example. He actually shouldn't be up and walking around by this point in the books, but he is. It's a good thing. Lafayette is a dynamic character. He belongs on the show. He really brings a lot to it. So of Tara and Sam, don't get me wrong, but they are another example of it. Jason, a lot of Jason's drama takes place off screen in the books. And he, we've seen a lot of Jason. A lot. I think he's been naked more than anyone. And Sookie's kind of been phased out, it seems like. She has less and less screen time. The biggest offender of this, and the number one reason why I'm having a hard time with this season, is Marianne. I hate that character. Hate her. With every ounce of my being. They took an awesome character from the book, the main ad, Callisto, and turned her into Mary Ann. And Mary Ann brought Daphne, she brought Eggs, she brought Carl. Carl. But she brought these extra characters, they're taking their, getting their own screen time, taking it from bigger characters, and I don't think I like that. Mary Ann, the character, the storyline's gone on way too long. It's also kind of painting Tara in a bad light and kind of cheapening her story in a certain way. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the orgies with all the people in town. I'm sick of the bull mask. I don't even know what that thing was. Um, I'm not really crazy about that. And Kaliso in the book attacked Sookie to get a message to Eric. And we now know that Marianne attacked Sookie for what reason? To get Sam to just mess things up or she, she just happened to be there. We don't know. But it kind of takes away from the character that how she was originally written, and she kind of flips in and out, so now she's a big part of it. Um, I'm not crazy about Marianne. Marianne is my most hated character, and she's probably the worst thing that's happened to this show. Second in that list is Jessica, and I know I'm going to get hate mail, but I don't care. I don't like Jessica. I will never like Jessica. Get over it. Let's continue with that. Um, Jessica has given Hoyt more screen time, and while I do like Hoyt a lot, the story is cheesy, and is a good example of how there's a disturbing trend in vampire media that's come up in the last couple of years where the producers think we want to see sappy, schmoopy, teenage vampire love. I don't want to see that. I want to see blood and guts and sinew in my fangs and death and sex and awesomeness, but instead we're getting rose petals and candles and puntastic songs and tee hee I'm so in love and I'm a virgin and oh and gag me gag me okay and she's 17 so the pedo alarm starts to go off that's personal taste but uh, no no good 
Um, also, I think they're really focusing on the wrong part of the story. They're focusing on Marianne's madness back home with Sam and all that. And so he's in Dallas just flitting around uh, where Lorena is. Another example of what the F is going on. Uh, Lorena came in in the first season during a flashback. How hilarious are the flashbacks with Bill, though, this season. Fantastic. Bill is really stretching those acting wings, as it were. And uh, we got to see Mean and Vicious Bill once. That was pretty awesome. But Lorena really doesn't show up in the books too much. She comes in in the third book, says maybe four lines, and then meets a sticky end, and everyone cheers. But she's, it's a big plot device to what happens to Bill and Sookie. Um, she showed up and kind of hold, holding Bill hostage, and brought there by Eric, which kind of gives the the whole story a weird spin. Um, now it looks like Eric's evil and trying to break Sookie and Bill up, and they kind of did that on their own in the books, brought on by Lorena, but Eric had nothing to do with it. And I don't, I'm not crazy about that. And Lorena just drives me crazy. I don't know. The actress just drives me crazy. Segue into Eric. I am very passionate about Eric. He's probably my favorite character. Not probably. Hands down my favorite character. And what they've done to him this season, they showed us, you know, five minutes of him total last season. And now he's flailing about in a weird, you know, teenage angst sort of way over Godric, his made-up maker. Because Godric's not his maker in the books. There's no Godric in the books. It's Godfrey beyond that. Um, Eric's kind of turned into a whiny butt. Um, he's still Eric. So... I love him, but and Alexander Skarsgård is doing a great job, but I just really like a Scars a lot. I'm learning Swedish because of him, so I'm going to have a soft spot there, but Eric's character driving me crazy. Uh, Sookie's wardrobe is driving me crazy. There's a lot of things that are bad, but there's a lot of things that are good about the show. The show still has awesome actors. Anna Paquin, AP, as she's called in the fandom. Anna Paquin is awesome. Her The writing for Sookie's not great, and the accent is bad, but... Anna Paquin is an awesome actress, and she's doing a great job. Pam. Uh, Pam, we got a big dose of Pam early in the season. Love Pam. Fantastic. Lafayette still being around is great. Uh, you know, it's a cannon breaker. Um, he's lost his, a bit of his pizzazz, but he's getting back to it, and he's still fantastic. Um, there's so many good things that are going on in the show. There's also the bad things I mentioned, but the show is still fantastic. I still love to tune in every Sunday and watch it, and I will until the show goes off the air because that's the kind of psycho fangirl I am. But I will still continue to have an opinion, and I do have strong opinions about it because I think that they're doing some crazy things that don't need to be done and leaving out things that are really important. We'll see, I guess, how it, ha how it plays out in the next five episodes, and I'm sure it's going to be crazy, and I'm sure it'll be naked because there's a lot of that going around. Um, I'm cutting this short now. I've already run on too long. Uh, you can find me at Live Journal, bradeatspeaks.livejournal.com, where I write True Blood recaps. Be warned, they're full of net speak and fangirly madness, but I write recaps of every episode, and there's other assorted insanity in there. And I love to have people come by and leave their opinions. Like this video, if you agree, disagree, have other things that are kind of rubbing you the wrong way about the show and want to talk about it, leave me a comment or send me an email or something. Get talking about it. I love the show. I love to talk about it. And that's what I'm going to do for the next five Mondays once till the show goes off the air. So I hope you come back and watch my vlogs. That's it. Signing off. Thanks for watching. See you next time.